y'all, I'm Sarah. Welcome to my studio. I am so, so excited to show you brand new from Horn of America, the new model 8090. We are so excited about this cabinet that Horn of America brought it right on over to my studio so I can share it with you and you can see why I really, really love this. This cabinet features, first of all, a brand new size cutout it's 31 inches by 15 and a half inches. This is excellent for almost all large embroidery machines, including the new Baby Lock Solaris and the Brother Luminaire. Along the back of the cabinet is a full length drop leaf extension. It is supported on two panels with caster wheels. The entire cabinet itself has caster wheel support, so it's very mobile and very easy to move across your studio or sewing room. All of the corners and edges on the top of the table are smooth and rounded, perfectly safe for your clothing and your fabric. On the left hand side is a drawer extension panel. It sits above the three drawers that are on soft closed slides. It gives you extra workspace just so that way you can keep everything you need handy but out of the way. On the left hand side to your knee space is a small cubby that you can store your embroidery module. It also has adjustable hooks for your embroidery hoops. If you don't want to use it for that or maybe you don't have an embroidery machine, it also comes with three adjustable shelves so you can put those in and use it for extra shelving if you choose. This cabinet has the Whisper Quiet electric lift system. You access it here on a toggle switch, which I'll show you in a moment. Makes it really nice for bringing your machine into the storage position, the flatbed position, and the uh, free arm position. On the right is a pull-out panel with 132 spools to keep your thread. Along the top, this is brand new, two little cutouts that are magnetic for your pins, wonder clips, small scissors, and then also another rectangular cutout that you can set your pens or pencils, stylus, that type of thing. On the right hand side of the cabinet is a swing up extension platform. Again, it's great to keep items handy but out of the way. And then I love this part too. Your panel swings up for an extra workspace platform. I like using it for my light box. I do a lot of paper piecing and applique. But you can also set up a pressing pad or even your overlocking machine. This cabinet comes in white as you see. You can also choose sunrise maple, sunset maple, or gray. Make sure you note if you want your insert to match that you let them know if you want the clear acrylic or the color matched. And lastly, all you have to do is unwrap this cabinet when it shows up. You don't have to install anything, it is ready to go. I hope you love it. Now I'm going to show you how to close up your model 8090. It's very, very simple. So let's start along the rear. With your drop leaf extension, support it with your hands and gently roll the two support panels left and right and then go ahead and lower that extension leaf. Come around to the left, clear anything off of your drawer extension if you have it sitting there, lift up and out, and you can see these pins. I suggest putting them towards the inside and go ahead and gently store that extension panel right here in the cubby. If you have anything on your tabletop that needs to be stored, the drawers are perfect for that. I'll go ahead and move my fabric. And I mentioned before, these drawers have soft closed slides, so they won't slam. And different storage spaces. You can see this one's a bit deeper. I mentioned the Whisper Quiet Electric Lift. In order to store your machine into the storage position, go ahead and lift out your insert. Make sure you keep the full edge to the bottom for any support. 
All right, now let's bring the machine all the way up. You're going to take the toggle switch to the left. It'll stop when it's in the full upright position. The filler panel stores easily right here. Set that up. Now you can take your insert, and I always suggest take the full long edge too to the bottom so you have the most support for your insert. It stores right back here. Now toggle switch to the right, and it will lower fully and then stop on its own. Then we take the filler panel, which sits right on top into little notches. So now I have a nice flat work surface. If you have something thin here, like my light box, I'm going to go ahead and store it right here next to my thread spools. Make sure that your thread panel is all the way pushed in. And before we close it up, you'll want to move the pin clip up and out. This frees up the swing up table platform. Gently lift it up, open the door, drop that platform all the way. Double check that you're pushed in on your panel. Go ahead and roll that door shut. And since it's on the caster wheels, like I said, it's very simple to do. And it closes right in place here. And last step, our swing up side extension. All we do is move the support and gently lower the panel. So now our 8090 is completely closed up. Our machine is safe from little hands, little furry friends, and you can push it out of the way if you need the floor space.